everybody look who's back at it again we are at Joyner Road well not back at it again we're back at this crossing again and we are at Joyner Road like usual but this time we're just getting a tour of the crossing again since last time I was here there has been a little a little over a few things that have been changed especially these are still original. That there, that there. Let me get a little. Um, let me get a good look at this um, over here. So some idiot decided to spray paint this. The relay case is covered in spray paint. Great. Right there and there, because the back one hasn't been touched. So thankfully that's good. Starting off, we got this signal here, which was rebuilt in, I believe, 2014. This signal was replaced. This signal had some partial replacements done to it. Pretty much to that included a new e-bell and a new gate mechanism. The gates have been. The gates are original, with new, with somewhat original gate lights. Safe Trent Evensity gate mechanism. But all in that, safe train base with the big shield on the front, with the big um, safe train logo on the front. You have these older style WC Hayes first gen LEDs on WC Hayes light brackets. And the WC Hayes light fixture itself is original too. It still has the old light bracket. The NEGE bell on that one is there too. But again, this has been graffitied a little recently, so not too fond of that. Okay, now we're going to go turn our heads and go this way. Goes that way and that way. And you got this signal right here. I'm only making this kind of short because there's going to there be a train coming through soon. This one has been kind of spackled over a little bit. This signal got a little spackle job done, but it doesn't appear like much has changed to it, so we're going to get a good look at the crossing. Believe it or not, I don't think this crossing has had its gate mechanism on that side touched because it's all dirty. So let me show you what the crossing looks like. They're also doing some construction here since the last time I came by. So there's that. And we're going to take a look at this signal here, though. This might be a redo. The gate mechanism on this side is relatively newer than the other one by the looks of it. But it's also kind of torn out. But I'll give you guys, I'll give you guys something. Oh, my, my finger is covered in the camera. There's your crossing sign on the middle back there. We got, just like this one over here, it has 12x24 WC Hayes inch lights with the fancier WC Hayes logo on the back of them. So I'll give you a good look at that. There it is right there. Now I'm going to go take a look at the base here. I don't know why I usually go over in this end to see it, but it's there. Safe Tran base, one of the bigger ones too. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give you a shot at what it looks like. Wow. What a year of history that this base has seen. Evans derail gate mechanism, just like the other one. Just a little bit shinier, and the gate is kind of upright. The other one is not as much. These have WCA's first gen LEDs on them. These signals down here have been off for a little bit, so. Oh, and the dot tag is on here too. So the dot tag number is 741102N. You can barely see it because of how, how the gate is positioned, so you can't see the gate really well. There's the other signal again. There's your tracks, which head towards Marana there, and this heads towards downtown Tucson. 
I just wanted to give you guys an update on this crossing because there's been a few things that have changed, but not big. And that's it.